One project that college students dread is the capstone project, and for a good reason. But fear not, we know how to help you weather the storm and put together a compelling paper that your teachers will highly praise. Follow our tips for your capstone research project and you are sure to avoid the many obstacles students have to overcome. Hey guys! Welcome to Papers Owl channel. My name is Steven and in this video we're going to look at what a capstone project is. A common question any student has, especially in high school, is the definition of a capstone project. According to the University of Virginia, this task is a two-semester project where students must independently research a topic to obtain a deep understanding of the subject matter. What is the capstone definition? A capstone project is a culminating assignment on which students usually work on during their final year in school or at the end of the academic program. It requires different intellectual activities. This project helps young people learn how to find and analyze information and how to work with it efficiently. It has a wide variety of forms. This means that a capstone program can be submitted in various forms, including a multimedia presentation, film, performance, or paper. A capstone research project is a very similar to a college thesis. What is a capstone project purpose? A capstone college course can help students demonstrate their knowledge and skills and can also be used as an employment portfolio. At university, people get such tasks in the last class of a study program. Capstone projects were generally developed to encourage students' abilities of critical thinking, problem solving, oral communication skills, research skills, and teamwork. Moreover, thanks to this project, students learn to connect with the community and analyze important issues, problems, and ideas. Some tasks include outside-of-school experiences, like interviews and scientific observations. As a guideline, a capstone project will revolve around the following framework. Selecting a topic, do a literature review, research your topic, presenting your findings. Whether you are given a set of topics to choose or you can select your own, a good topic will make the process much easier. In short, you need to find a happy balance of a topic that has a wide enough scope to investigate but is not so narrow you won't be able to find resources for your task. If you've never done a literature review before, don't get intimidated. Simply organize a section of your written work where you state the relevance of your sources any background information they had provided, as well as any information gaps. This will create a roadmap of where to take your project. You'll have a strong foundation to work off and can spot any areas to improve upon. Since these assignments often have a presentation at the end, you can be more creative with your fact-finding. You may conduct interviews with professionals, observe various events, and, of course, the classic dive into the library. Just be sure your research is on the target with your outline and the resources are authorized. With your presentation, the first is to look at the content of your research and choose a means of delivery. You can present your work as a defense where you lecture the class on your work and field questions related to your topic. Revise some tips of writing essays to include in your work. You may also incorporate graphical elements or an engaging on-screen presentation. Upon completing your project, you'll demonstrate that you can engage in serious research work. And if you get a good grade, it's a good reference for future academic work if asked about your academic achievements. You will find that you not only know how to investigate a subject, but organize work to reach a deep understanding. Another aspect is the presentation portion. Many students are great researchers and can write wonderful papers and get good grades. However, presentation is a necessary skill to apply in the real world. When you want to ask for a raise or get a proposal approved, often you'll need to present factual data to back up your reasoning.
Don't pass up this opportunity to showcase your skills to your university. With the right plan, you can develop a great project that can be a lot of fun. Try to devise a practical topic of interest and follow this guide to get the A you deserve. Thank you for watching. More information you can find on video description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for latest updates. See you later. Bye-bye.